Hi. For many of us, our health care needs seem to be intensifying these days. Does it make any sense that we should not be able to get chiropractic care, naturopathic types of care, and it's not covered on most insurances? Does that make any sense? Well, if we know why, it does make sense. Check this out. 1963, they had the AMA, which, you know, they're trying to help you. That's what they tell you. But the AMA had a meeting on November 2nd, 1963, to eliminate chiropractors. Because chiropractors were the threat to the system, which is poisoning people. So the AMA trustees had a meeting on 1963, November 2nd, to eliminate chiropractors. So chiropractors were actually the, the most long-standing natural path, and they were trying to eliminate them so that they could get people on cutting them open, radiating, radiating them, and giving them pills. That's basically what it was. And chiropractors weren't doing that. They were saying, we could address your body, we could address the meridian lines, we could address your lymphatic system, we could address your blood, you know, your heartbeat, all these things. No, 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 that doesn't fly. It went to where they were trying to eliminate them so that they don't have a business anymore. And it's interesting because it says right here, there was a letter on August 13th, 1973 to a hospital administrator declared that any arrangement that you made with chiropractors at your hospital would be unacceptable from the joint committee. The AMA, that's who's saying. So all hospitals had to eliminate chiropractors overnight because they were told from the committee, which is about allegedly helping you and whatever else, that they had to get rid of them. Now here's where it takes it a step further. Veterans, we all know veterans, we all know all the people who served and all the veterans and all the great souls and all of those people. Those people actually used to be able to work with chiropractors but they were also eliminated. Chiropractors were eliminated from working with veterans. So what did veterans get instead? Pills and drugs to make them go crazy and give them a whole bunch of side effects. So when you start to think about that situation, chiropractors used to be able to work with veterans, but then they were eliminated by the AMA. So they got drugs and poisons instead. And this is what this book goes into, and that's why it's such a very deep book for people to understand. It also talks about radium, radium therapy, which we've talked about as well, and how they were using radium and, and doing all kinds of really weird stuff with radium and that whole situation, much more than the things that I've thought about, that's for sure. And then you sit there and go into more about the depression and how much money was made during the depression. They even have a part in here about the world fairs. And we've talked about the world fairs before. During the world fairs mentioned in this book, they talked about how they poisoned the people and they didn't tell them. They didn't even explain that there was poison in the water. They just let them drink it. And then those people were poisoned and they denied them any type of healthy treatment. This is how twisted all of these things go. So this is an important book for people to start reading because when you understand this system, you will not consent to this system. But if you don't know because you are oblivious and don't understand how this system actually works, you keep giving money to the system. It's just like going out to eat at fast foods. Those fast food companies are part of this system. They get funded by the system because a person goes to eat that food, they now get sick and they contribute back to the system. It's, it's a revolving door. And if you're not aware, you just keep spending money at the revolving door. You consent. That's what it is. You consent to that revolving door.